Hello everybody and welcome in to our third episode of our Germany Wonder Start game. I am getting hyped up on this one. In this episode, we have Cheeky Golden Ages. We may or may not have a new game plan by the end of it. I have no idea. We're having so much fun inside this game and I hope you enjoy it. Before we hop in, I just wanted to say quickly, over the last week or so in between these videos, I don't know if it's been a week between the videos, but there's a rock band one in between. Anyways, we have hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I just wanted to say thank you quickly. You guys are amazing. As I'm recording this, we're close to 1,030 and we hit 1,000 last night. So it's been absolutely insane on YouTube in between the last Germany game video and this one. So I just wanted to say thank you quick. I also wanted to remind you guys that we stream live on twitch.tv slash Van Bradley. It is in the, it's the link that's in the description below. We've been averaging about 60 viewers per stream and it's been a load of fun recently. So I'd love for you to hop in and join us there. Even just to check, even just to check it out would be awesome. Anyways, I'm hyped about this game. I hope you're hyped about this game. Let's hop back in to our Germany wonder start. Cheers, everyone. Okay, it's been a couple of days. We are back into this game. Not gonna lie, I had to go back and re-watch what we were doing in episode two just to uh, figure out what to do with the settler. I remember saying out loud what I wanted to do. The answer was settle these woods tiles, work the two, two, three, and use the great engineer for the Petra. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, I didn't notice this at the end of the last, uh, the last video, but an enemy spy has bamboozled our industrial zone here. So we are going to have to fix that. Other than that, though, I'm very happy with how this game's turning out. We're settling enough cities. We're not too far behind in anything at turn 130, although the culture could be a little bit better. Hopefully, at some point, we can hit, like, a good golden age when Gaul is in a dark age or something just to settle maybe one more city. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want about ten, although you might be able to get away with eight in a science... Oh, nine, ten. Oh, I have eleven. We'll have 11. We'll be totally fine. 11's perfect right where you want to be, and we should be good to go. So let's let's keep on trucking, as they say. I'm going to finish this workshop right away, even before getting the builder. Getting the builder is cool, but I really need these industrial zones up and running at all times just to maximize their value. I'm going to sneak in a few alliances here just to make sure people don't get on the wrong side of us. I don't want anyone declaring war on us. I don't want any of that stuff this game. We're going to go for the science win, and the more people who are allied with, with us, the better. Also, the extra diplomatic visibility is really, really nice. The more cities or the more places I can see what they're building in their cities, the more info I'll have in terms of the late game and who I'm going to need to stop from winning while we're trying to go for our science victory. Gaul is pissed. I don't know what he's mad about though. Probably just everything. All the things. He's probably just mad at all the things for no reason because he's Gaul. He's also losing a city down here. Why aren't you mad at the Maya? Are you mad at the Maya? Okay, you're at war with Maya, so that's chill. Okay, that's fair enough. His, his anger seems proportional. We've just hit industrialization, which is a really big step in a science victory. It unlocks the factory for more production, which we're going to need, but also it unlocks the Ruhr Valley, which should give us one really good city that we can do a lot of our producing in later in the game. We're going to need one high production city uh, to start with, and then about two or three by the end of the game. Obviously, repealing, or repealing, revealing coal and getting the plus one production on mines is very important as well. We're still quite behind in culture, but getting these factories is quite nice factories also give a production boost to the cities around it they don't stack on top of each other so if you have multiple factories each city will only get the one boost but it is nice to give a little bit of production to the nearby cities as well i'm going to circle back for some basic defensive units here just in case gaul does declare war on us so we're not stuck with archers forever by the way that's not a bad hit on a crossbow uh there was something else i wanted to talk about quickly though i can't remember what it is that's fine we'll, we'll get to it when i remember Gonna grab a theater square here to help with our culture woes. We don't need too many theater squares, just a couple of good ones will be fine. I'm also gonna plan one of these flat tiles here to be a spaceport just to make sure that is done. The pin there, we might not put it down. It might be the, like the third spaceport, doesn't really matter. It's just good to have these pins down so when you do get to them, you don't build anything on top of them before the spaceport can be put down. We do desperately need builders at this point, though. There's just too many tiles in all of our cities that aren't quite working up to snuff. So many mines and farms uh, and, and ocean production that we can put down, or at least, like, produce on these tiles. Fishing boats is what I'm trying to say, right? Not that they'll all give production or anything, right? These diamonds here, clearing the marsh, like, all of these things um, can be done, and I think we need to start doing them. So don't be surprised if you see me starting to just spam builders in these areas just to make sure that we are working as many tiles as possible and getting these population numbers up a little bit higher. 
All right, plan is going into action. We shall be building the Petra. This costs, what's the production cost? 400 production. You are going to give 400 just with your regular charges. So that's perfect. We shall throw the Petra right here. You're going to go in. Yeah, and next turn, that'll just finish that right up, which is awesome. I'll start work on the truffles, but all these tiles are going to be fantastic as we grow into them. So that's awesome for us. That is the Petra done. Thanks, Mr. Engineer. I appreciate that. Now, as the city grows, yeah, you can see we have some bonkers good tiles here already. This truffles tile is going to be really nice. This iron tile is going to be awesome. But just the rest of these desert tiles, too. And then we can put a bunch of uh, solar panels down here later. This is going to be a fantastic city for us. I'm going to use my gold to buy a granary up here. Nuremberg needs to keep growing very, very much. So even if it's just at a slow pace, we're obviously going to want to move into a coal mine here shortly. I'm just not sure how quickly we will be able to do that. It appears as though we're going to be totally fine to get this Wonder Construction Great Engineer. We can already buy it with Faith, and we are getting 11.5 to everyone else's like 4.6 Great Engineer points. So if we can't get it on our own, I will be buying it with Faith just to make sure we get our hands on this one. I think this will be a big boost for us. And we'll use that one to build the Ruhr Valley in a minute. I'm not sure if we can make a play on Oxford University. I just took a look around, and it doesn't seem like we have too many um, eligible tiles next to campuses for this to really work out. But heading to this part of the map is fine. I think if we hit flight as soon as possible here and then move down into research labs and rocketry, we'll get spaceports pretty early too, but we will be able to get some aerodromes down if we want to either defend against or go after Gaul at any point. Going to get a big boost here with 100% industrial zone adjacency. I'm going to swap that out for the housing card here. I just think we have too many industrial zones and one of them being a plus eight is far too important to not put this card in. So we're going to slide that in i'm gonna keep surf them in as well because i mentioned the builders earlier having this card already in makes me think i probably mentioned it at the end of last video as well still worth keeping in here to make sure our builders are doing lots of good work for us i have not used hermetic order in a very very long time we're gonna get the alchemical society which is gonna replace the university i'm not sure exactly what that means we have a university we did have a university somewhere is it over here that we have a university I want to see what one of these things does. One second here. Plus two production, plus four science. Generates gold equal to its science adjacency. That's cool. That's cool indeed. Awesome. So we're getting six gold from it as well. Sick. Going to head into spies next so we can try and counter spy all the hooligans who are taking out our industrial zones. That is going to be a problem. And that is the first uh, issue we've come across with not going culture heavy early is that we are a bit late to spies, which shall slow us down a little bit here. I have a choice down here in Magdeburg, and it's one of those moments where reasonable people can have different opinions on it. When I build this factory in Trier, Magdeburg is going to get a little bit of a production boost. So I'm going to focus on the amphitheater first instead of the factory here, and I'll build that after. I think our need for culture is greater than our need for production, and we're getting a little bit of extra production anyway when this factory finishes. And so I think for now, that is good enough. And once these two factories are done, all of the cities around us... Um, um, that will be getting an extra plus three production, which is not too much, but it is something and it is helpful. And I think that'll offset a little bit that we're going for the amphitheater first. We currently have zero out of four of our trade routes running, which is absolutely tragic. We don't really need our trade routes to be zoom zooming along until democracy is achieved because that'll give us extra production and food, which is what we're going to use in our first spaceport. So we're going to want all of our trade routes to leave out of Frankfurt just so they're all already here when we do get democracy but we are a while away from that I'm double checking to make sure Gaul or Maya who are next up on the list don't have enough money or faith to buy that great engineer I want to buy it uh, just to make sure I get it but I want it to be as cheap as possible also I'm never accepting your demand mate like I've have you ever ex put put it in the comments if you've ever accepted a demand absolutely ludicrous why would I do that what Crazy talk. Gonna sneak a three turn trader in before finishing up this factory just to keep those trade routes rolling. We're gonna send them all to Frankfurt where our first spaceport is gonna go. And then by the time that's done, that'll be an extra so far. That'll be an extra 16 production going in here, but hopefully we'll have six or seven trade routes by the time that is done. 
We have achieved our wonder construction great engineer, which is amazing for us. So we still have the one charge left on our first one. Now we have this second one coming in. I got to get this freaking Hansa down before I can even build the Ruhr Valley, but we are well on the way. I'm going to put in Machiavellianism just to get a spy done right away so we can start counter spying some of our more important industrial zones. I just want to get the spies out of there. The more they spy on us, the more they're going to level up and the harder they're going to be to counter spy. So I want to get on that right away, despite the fact that we still do need lots of builders. I'm going to go straight for a pair of coal power plants. We want as many things powered up as early as possible. And uh, we're going to have one coal node here. One coal node up here. I can double that up with a policy card. We're going to have one over here as well, though. So three coal nodes should be fine to start. We can also settle a city over here if we need some more coal later. By then, we'll have moved on, I think, so that should be fine. <laughs> Maya wants to buy my coal. Wait until you see my power plants, Maya. Then you'll be doubly impressed. Get out of here. You ain't taking no coal. We go for ranged here in this vote, just because we have the one garrison archer defending our entire empire, which is awesome. And I'll go producing military units. We have a lot of production if we get into a war that's going to be good for us. I'm going to save the rest of our Diplo favor to sell, though, which I'll do right after this. All right, we got our production. We got our ranged. Awesome. We didn't have to do anything else. I'm going to sell our Diplo favor to an ally because they're, I don't know. It just feels right. It just feels right. What do you want to give us for that? 88? Is that all you can give? I think 88 is probably fine. 88 gold for 30 for 245 Diplo favor. Feels really, really good. We are going to use that to buy lots and lots and lots and lots of builders, I think. It turns out we do have a space for Oxford University right here. So I'm going to build a spy. I'm going to chop this tile kind of into oblivion. And then we're going to put down Oxford University. I'm going to chop this tile into the Oxford University. And even though they're not Magnus chops, because I don't want to move Pingala around, two chops into Oxford University, which is only going to take us like 18 turns anyways, should be pretty good. Oh, dude, we have the next great engineer, which is also for wonder construction. So we should be getting the uh the Ruhr valley in no time what i am gonna do though is send this first engineer back though with the one spread and i'm gonna send it back here and we are gonna grab the colossus in trier we can put the colossus right here that'll give us another wonder which is nice but it'll also give us an extra trader out just for free and it's only eight turns anyways you can see how well these cities do once they have decent hansas with uh factories that are powered up because we're getting loads of production here so i think we should grab the colossus here that'll give us a free trade route and a good use of this charge because we'll have two full great engineers to finish up the rear valley all right despite the fact that our last uh industrial zone pillage was down here i can i can bamboozle spies double time here i can defend our city center with pingala which is very important and our industrial zone and our theater square actually i can move it to the theater square here and defend all these adjacent districts as well. So I'm going to do that. We are going to move it to Frankfurt. But to our theater square. No. Can I go to the theater square please? Why won't you let me? Oh there we go. Uh, we're going to go to the theater square. And then I can spy on all these adjacent districts at the same time. And that will be the most amount of protection for the most amount of things that might get pillaged. I'm now going to chop this into the void. If you chop with nothing in the production queue, it just applies to the next thing you put down, which for us will be Oxford University. And then since this is going to be a spaceport later, we will chop this out as well and get that finished up. I was just thinking that it might be worth using this great engineer to help with Oxford University. It's only going to give 175 production towards it, and it costs like 1300 1240 production, so it's only going to do like one-tenth of an Oxford University, or I can do like a full Colossus with it, or, or close to, so I think it's probably more worth it. I think our scout is in danger, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not, that, that looks scarier than it was. I hope these guys come down and kill Gaul and stay very far away from Heidelberg, who <laughs> does not have walls at the moment. All right, Colossus is going down, then I shall use Imhotep. Eight turns to one turn, so the Colossus is done in one go. And I think that's a better use than Oxford University, just in terms of how much we're getting for, our, or how much bang for our buck we're getting out of that great engineer man we have some choices to make with some of our districts we're doing well there's no farmland though i'm struggling with population because i just can't get enough farms down probably until we get where is it here civil engineering and we can build farms on hills i think we're going to struggle a little bit until then so it is being a, a little bit tricky here to, to find a system that works for us yay colossus it's so pretty it's not a very good wonder but it's a good use of our great engineer considering that music got intense real fast. 
So there we go. That's fantastic stuff. And we get our free trader. I'm going to get them all going from Frankfurt, though. But that was fun. I'm going to save all the gold I can so I can buy a workshop and a factory right away in Nuremberg. And then we can get started on the Ruhr Valley, which should be helpful for us. I'm a little bit into the idea of putting down an aerodrome and going and taking some of Gaul's cities. He's mad at us. He's going to be mad at us for the rest of the game. Maybe even Maya. Just to expand our land a little bit here and have some fun in the middle of the science game. It's nice to go have some fun. We certainly have the production to build an aerodrome and planes quickly. So I'm not too worried about it from that POV. Uh, I guess we'll wait to see. We're definitely going to end up in a regular age here. If he ends up in a dark age or something, that might be a play we go for. I'm just not quite sure yet exactly how we want to approach that. I'm running Heroic Tales for the first time ever to hopefully try and find Hercules in this mess somewhere. I would really, really, really like to find him to just smash down some districts, particularly a spaceport and a couple aerodromes would be absolutely perfect for us. Also, we are going to use our Great Writer in the city that has Pingala to kind of maximize the amount of culture and, and points we're going to get from it. Good news, everyone. We discovered Beowulf. Hooray! Exactly the opposite of what I wanted to achieve. Whoopee! Instantly builds a bank and market in this district. That's nice. We'll take that one. We'll take that one, though. That one's cool. Cool stuff. Our um, uh, industrial zone here, sorry, is finished up. So we're going to buy a factory and a workshop and then this tile... And that should be good enough for a Ruhr Valley. That is good enough for a Ruhr Valley. So we're going to get that going right away. And um, we're going to use this engineer for sure. Now, it seems like we're going to be able to grab with just this engineer, which leaves this one here open. So we might want to think about something to do with this one afterwards. Ruhr Valley is kind of usually the last wonder I prioritize in a game like this. So we'll have to figure out if that's something that we want to do. There's about 480 production left towards the Oxford University, so I'm just going to finish that up. If it was less than 480 or too much less, I didn't want to use it. That way I wouldn't be getting the maximum value for the engineer. But I think it, it's close to 480. It was around 400 production, and we can guarantee the Oxford University. I think that's a pretty big deal for us. No innovation in the past. It also puts us four era score away from a golden age. Which is huge if we can get a golden age here. I think if we get a golden age here, we can take some planes and go and ruin Gull's Day a little bit. I'm going to try and, and find a way to get four era score here. Have we owned an iron unit yet? I don't know if we have. Okay, let's upgrade this guy to a swordsman. That's one. That was our first iron unit. Sick. I can grab a great artist with faith and a great admiral with faith. So I just need to find one more that doesn't involve using faith. And then I'll be good to go. I'm going to trade Diplo Favor to Japan for cash, just in case cash is the way we find to grab. Oh, what can we do? Do we have any niter? We don't have any niter for a niter unit. Can we upgrade a boat to a coal unit? Can upgrade to a caravel. I don't think that does it, though. I think it's got to be... We need 20 niter for a frigate, though. I mean, 20 niter for a frigate. Do you have niter, China? Not 20. I'm going to figure this out. We're going to find a way. I believe in us. Japan has 20 Niter, and he will give us his 20 Niter for 23 Diplo Favor. So we're going to do that. Then if I pull the Quadream in here and upgrade that, that's 92. If I grab this Great Artist, that's 93. And if I grab this Great Admiral, that is 94. We are heading into the next era with a Golden Age. Holy smokes. The heroics at the end here. I'm killing it. I, I'm on fire this game. Let's go. Oh, the golden age. Oh, 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 the golden age. How do we feel? I'm having coffee at 7 p.m. right now to record this, and I feel fantastic. All right, everyone's mad that we have a golden age. I just hope Gaul doesn't have a golden age, too. He doesn't. Gaul does not have a golden age. In fact, Lady Six Guy has a dark age. If we could just find Hercules, if we can find Hercules and just smack down an aerodrome, we're going to be so good. Campus district adjacency providing us with extra production is going to be sweet, so we will choose this one. Although Reform the Coinage will give us a buttload of gold as well. I think we're good on the gold front. I think we'll be fine there. 
We have lots of campuses. Let's have them give us production on top of all the production we have too. It's awesome. I'm gonna throw the whistle bank in card in here because we already have a lot of trade routes to allies and that's what we've been setting up. And so Frankfurt is gonna start to really have a lot of production and food here, which we need to get this population number as high as possible. It's only three turns for this aerodrome and I'm super into this plane idea. I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere, but I think we should really bamboozle the crap out of, uh, out of Ambiorix, or even, uh, she's losing loyalty over here, even uh, Maya as well. Maya only has 181 science, but a big military. Gaul has a higher science, but smaller military. I wonder who we could do the most damage to, but I can see us taking over like three of these cities here, just for a little bit of extra space. And to be honest, just for a little bit of fun. We did it. That's the Ruhr Valley, done and finished. Now we have a lot of production up here. I don't know what we're going to do with it all, but we have a lot of production, so probably some sciencey things. I just really like building the Ruhr Valley, if I'm being honest. So, so fun. So much fun. With the Ruhr Valley done, I'm going to focus on grabbing some builders in Dortmund and getting mines all through Nuremberg here. Mines will increase the amount of production which we're getting from the Ruhr Valley. We're already up to 66 here. How does that compare? 67, 47, 50. So this city here, Nuremberg, has a massive amount of production. So we're going to try and make the most of it where we can. I built an encampment here for if we ever actually find aluminum and get bombers, because that way we can just go ham over here. So we built an encampment just in case we need to build some units. Now I'm going to circle back to building districts that will actually be helpful for us. I decided on the Diplo Quarter, we should probably grab it. I always struggle to find a place to put it in my build order, but the buildings that are in the Diplo Quarter aren't too bad, especially with this kind of production. I think it's worth grabbing, especially if we can put it next to the city center here. The only thing that sucks is now this can't be a spaceport, but I think that's fine. I think we're going to have two good spaceports anyways. We have finally heroic tails our way into grabbing Hercules, which we shall need in the event that we... Um, put spaceports down, which we will be doing later. And so we're going to grab him now. If we don't make it to spaceports by the time he is ready, that's totally fine. Uh, we will just have him run around and do stuff and repurchase him with faith. He is just good to have. I'm also going to grab Sun Wukong in another city, and that'll help us if we go with planes after Gaul at any point, which I'm still hoping to do. We have three aluminum nodes within our empire, which is more than enough to go uh, after bombers here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have enough gold to buy a bomber straight up. I think we're going to be able to go to war against these guys pretty quickly with bombers here. And I think it's going to be a good time. In the rest of our cities here, I'm just doing basic kind of TLC, chopping tiles we don't need, building tiles we want, still throwing down campuses and theater squares and industrial zones where we don't have them. Just the basic things you'd be doing, so I don't want you to feel like you're missing out too much. I try and really talk through everything that I'm doing that's important, but in the districts like this down here, instead of building a bunch of districts, I'm focusing on the ones we already have, right? Finish up the commercial hub, then go on the Hansa, and then go on to something else. Having a bunch of districts with one building in them isn't as helpful i think than having uh your city be at least good at a couple of different districts and so that's the approach i'm taking so you're not missing too much at all now i'm starting to think i might want to build Kilwa quickly with this great engineer just so i can choose both production city states and so ambiorix doesn't have one i'm not exactly sure how i want to approach that yet but that might be a thought for us to to take on at some point I'm going to try and vote for uh, the chosen, oper chosen Operation being unavailable for sabotage production. That would be no bueno for us. And duplicates of Mercury, we have quite a few duplicates of. I don't think that one's going to go through, though. But that would be a hopeful sign. Diamonds. Duplicate diamonds. We do have diamonds, so that's nice. And... Disrupt rocketry is two levels higher. Good thing we don't have any spaceports yet. You know what, though? I've been recording for an hour and ten minutes, so I think I have enough footage for another episode. This might be our first five-episode game in a while. We are going... I think we're going to go to war down here. I think we're, we'll do the science stuff over in these guys. We got Hercules now. We can throw down some aerodromes. We can, but we'll be able to straight up buy the bombers. And just go to town over in Gaul. I think that'd be super fun. If not, then definitely Lady Six Guy. So I think that's where we're headed. So I will end the video here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comments anything you'd like to see. Whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it, whatever you want. Hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, just thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to go to war. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone.